today we're going to be installing the, uh, well, technically it's already installed, the home link on the Model Y. Um, technically it was installed by Tesla, but we have to set it up. Uh, we received a box in the mail about two, three weeks ago that had, it was like a small square box that basically said do not open um, or avoid the warranty. It had stickers all over it. Um, last week we took the car down to uh, the service center, which is in Chico for us, which is a little ways away, and had them install it. And today we're going to set it up. We have a newer garage door opener. It's a LiftMaster. Uh, my son-in-law works for a garage door opener company and he had it installed. So we're going to go ahead and try to get the car set up and see what we do. We'll go from there. So join me on this journey. We're going to gonna try to get this done before it rains it's starting to get cloudy and getting a little water on the car but um, I've got the garage door opener and I guess we're gonna start off with the setup in the car I did watch a video on this at one point but I don't remember what they said so I'm gonna try to do it from scratch just like I hadn't seen anything and see what if the car leads us through it and tells us what to do service center did a great job installing the hardware but didn't really tell us anything about the actual installation that we're gonna have to go through so let's go inside the car and see what it does when we try to set it up Okay, we're inside the car now. Let's see if we can figure out what to do. Here is the home link icon. Um, it's what I guess we're supposed to use to set it up. So let's try pressing that and see what happens. Okay, it says create home link. So pretty so easy so far. So I guess we'll enter their name. We'll say garage door. We only have one gate or garage door. I guess it can do up to two or three different items just like a regular opener has different options but all we have is the one garage door so let's do garage door and i have to capitalize things because that's just what i do okay let's hit enter set home link transmit mode set a home link transmit mode for garage door is compatible with your receiver so we got standard option or d mode i'm not sure with ours but let's just try standard for now see if that works before we begin, here's what you need to do. Have your garage door remote ready, which we do. You may want to use new batteries. It's pretty new. It's only about uh, two months old, so they're pretty new. Park in front of your garage door, which we've done. Be sure to leave enough room for it to open, which we have. So let's start. Okay. Re record signal for remote. Stand in front of the hood and point your remote at the bumper. Press and hold the button until the headlights flash. Okay, I'm gonna head out. hold out here like it says see what happens oh we have a flash head back inside all right recording complete tap continue to move to the next step Press the learn button on your garage door opener usually located behind the cover and LED may eliminate that have you received quick train you can simply tap the continue button now I'm not sure if it is or not I will go check okay I'm not sure if it is quick train or not unless so I'm gonna go ahead and get a step stool we'll see if we can get up here and see if there's any buttons I know my old one had one but I'm not sure about the new one So looking up here, the only thing that looks like it's a learn button is the yellow button. I hit the yellow button, the yellow light appeared. So I think that's it. So let's go back to the car and see if that works. Okay, so we hit that yellow button. Let's see what happens. Training complete. Continue to move to the next step. Test the new home link. Your new home link is now programmed. To verify it's working, tap the garage door button above. Note to test D mode. Da, da, da. We're not didn't do D mode, so let's save it. And let's test it. Hmm. It's not doing anything. Let's close that out and try hitting it again. Nope not doing anything so 
Hmm. Let's go back to our settings. And let me do some looking. See if I can figure out what we did wrong. Okay, so I found that there actually is a website for Homelink. Homelink.com. And I looked at the video real quick for mine, which is the LiftMaster. It sounds like I did everything right. So let's try it again. Um, see if it works this time. So we're going to say standard mode. We're going to start. Going to go get our signal. Tap continue to move to the next step. Let's try it without doing the next step. Let's just hit continue. Let it train. Training complete. Tap continue. Let's save it. Let's close it and see if it works. Yay! So I guess I put it in the training mode and I didn't need to put it in the training mode because it worked without the training mode. So that's good to know. Let's see if it opens up again once it shuts. There it goes. Okay. So good to know we did not need to hit the training mode on our garage door opener. That was extra. And it probably caused the thing to think so it wasn't able to continue working. So next step I'd like to do is I'd like to set up a distance for it. So I'd like it to auto open when arriving. You can either auto fold mirrors, which we don't need to. There's only one car in a garage and that's my wife's car. Auto open when arriving. And I like that idea. I don't know that I want to wait when it's 70 feet. I think, I don't know. Let's leave 50 feet. And then let's auto close when we leave too. So we don't have to hit anything. And I guess at this point, Let's chime for auto open. Yeah, I like that too. So there's also option to chime for auto open, auto close. So that'll be kind of nice to know that it sent the signal and it received it. So let's program that. Oh, hmm. Maybe I don't need to do that. I guess I've already marked the settings, so it should save it. So let's get out of here. Let's go back in and see if it saved those settings. It did. So it's got the chime, the auto open, auto close. So that looks good. So let's test that now and see if that's going to work. Coming around, here we are. Oh yeah, it even tells you auto open in, it gave me a countdown for feet. Okay, that's pretty cool. I'll have to look back at that. It said 10 feet, five feet, and that's about a perfect distance for me. So that way I can get in. Look, I don't even have to stop. It's perfect distance. All right. Okay, you're leaving for the day. I'll have to keep an eye on that home link. If you look under there, it did show that it was going to auto open in 10 feet, five feet, and then boom, it did. So let's see when we leave. It's about now is when it tripped it. So I don't see it tripping it. Hmm. Maybe I selected that I didn't want it to auto close. Let's put it in park. Auto close when leaving. Huh. Not sure why that's not working. I get 40 feet. Oh, it did say auto close in 20 feet. I just hadn't gone far enough. That's what it was. So that may be too far. That may be farther than I want. I'd like to, like to see it shut. So let's go 30 feet and see how that works. So maybe I have to sacrifice the opening at a closer distance. So I can see it close. That way I don't assume it closed. I know it closed. All right, here we go. Okay, garage door. Oh, it's open because <laughs> it set the signal. <laughs> it set the signal to open or to close and it was already closed. So it opened. Okay, so we're going to go drive and see what happens here. 
give it a minute to close. Probably closed about now. All right. Let's see if it opens. Okay. Hasn't said anything yet. Oh, opening in 40 feet. 30 feet. 20 feet. 10 feet. 5 feet. Yeah, that's probably probably like it a little further out, but there. That worked pretty darn good. So that's it for Homelink. Um, pretty simple with my garage door open. I didn't have to hit the learn button. Um, it's good to know that. I guess probably good to at least try standard. Try not hitting the learn button. If that doesn't work, then you can always take it to either trying the learn button if you're still not working or even going to D-Link, which I'm not sure which garage door openers use D-Link, but the, there's a website, like I said, Homelink, that you can go to for the Tesla. It gave a little short video, which basically said, try not using the learn button. And if it works, then you're good. So. Um, the only thing now is probably setting the distance how far. I do like that it warns you when you saw that on the screen where it showed 20 feet, 10 feet, 5 feet, it's going to open. Same thing when you leave. It says 20 feet, 10 feet, 5 feet, it's going to close. Um, so that's good to know. And you do have the chime to confirm. So I could probably set it a little farther and not worry the fact that it, um, I didn't see it actually close because I heard the chime. Um, so really cool home link. Again, it's uh, $300 to buy it from Tesla. You have to get the box. You have to leave the box unopened. If you open the box, you get in big trouble. I'm not sure if it's because there's air in there. Maybe there's nothing in there. Or maybe there's computer parts. They don't want you to get dust or dirt on. Uh, but if you leave the box unopened, you take it to the service center, they install it for free. And then it's that simple setup when you get home to get it to work. So um, Homelink, I think it's great. I love it. I love that I don't have to hit me buttons. And I love that I don't have to get my phone out anymore and uh, press open the garage door. All right, so I wanted to film an update on the home link for the Tesla. Um, you just saw the video when I installed it and originally had it. I think we've had it for five months now, five or six months, and um, we love it. And I've never had it close when I, like on the car accidentally. Um, I've never had it really shut when I didn't want it to. And I have set the distance at the maximum distance. So I was gonna show you real quick, we're taking off to go to dinner, so let's see what it looks like in action. Okay, I just put the car in reverse. We're in the garage and it says garage door auto close in 20 feet. So basically, and you can't skip it if you know, you're gonna be doing something like wash a car or something like that, but you just back out. Sorry about the glare. And that's it, it shuts. I don't have to think about it. I don't have to worry about it. It just auto shuts, as you can see, so nice. And this is what it's like when we come home. Okay, we're home a little later. You can see it says garage opens in 30 feet. I like it out as far as I can get. So by the time I pull up to the garage, it's open. So, boom, it opens. I'm pulling up the driveway. Very slick. By the time I get up to the driveway, it's open. Ta-da! So that's it, that's why I do love the Tesla Home Link. I've never had it shut on me when I didn't want it to. Um, and having it open when you leave and when you go automatically, it's almost like just driving the car is automatic, the garage door is automatic. So highly recommend it. Um, you do have to get it from Tesla and you do have to have them install it at a service center. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like and subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.